And if this year's Ohio Derby is anything like last year's Ohio Derby, this is a race that we'll want to tune into on Saturday. Yeah, Brian, because last year's Ohio Derby kind of turned out to be a, a little bit of a key race in the second half of the three-year-old season when Ira, IRAP and Gervin battled head-to-head -head down the stretch. Both of those horses came back to do really, really good things. IRAP winning the Indiana Derby and then contesting um, in the Travers and the and the Pennsylvania Derby. Gervin, of course, coming back and taking the Haskell. Uh, the third place finisher in that in that race, Untrapped, won the Oklahoma Derby. So it, it it was quite a race last year, and there's a pretty good darn darn good field assembled this year. Twelve horses, a couple of them ran in the Kentucky Derby. Several others were uh, features on the Derby Trail. Yeah, Matt, last year's Ohio Derby was one of the races of the year for me because I wrap. Uh running down Gervin uh, after a, a long battle was, was truly a great race. And, and I need to mention IRAP because I, I truly think IRAP would have been one of the premier race, uh, race horses in America this year. Just a beautiful, beautiful son of Tiz now. Of course, he uh, was injured in that Pennsylvania Derby after running second in the Travers and uh, w could not be saved. So IRAP is very much missed. And uh, yeah, of course, I, I, I just thought the world of so. Missing IRAP, but looking forward to this Ohio Derby. A field of 12, Matt, uh, you know, I, I was really looking with this full field to find some odds in here, but I just couldn't do it. I, I don't like the horses uh, that are uh, uh, lower uh, or, or lesser liked in here. I think it really c it comes down to the two favorites, and it looks like the two horses below them are the most likely to upset. For me, though, this race starts and ends with Flame Away. And Matt, I will say this, I saw the morning line where he was five to two uh, favored over Lone Sailor. And Lone Sailor ran a very good race in the Kentucky Derby, sneaky good race in the Kentucky Derby. He's only beaten a few laps in the Preakness. He's got a Rod Ortiz coming in. I would be surprised if Lone Sailor is not the favorite in this Ohio Derby. Yeah, it, it, that would be an interesting uh, decision for the, for the betters. Clearly, Lone Sailor had a better performance in the Derby. Um, and uh, but Flame Away has to his credit a lot of wins, five wins, and we talked so much about Flame Away on the Derby Trail, winning on the turf, winning on the artificial, winning on the dirt, and uh, a disappointed, disappointing finish in the Derby. But maybe we can draw a line through it with the with the super wet surface there. We know how Flame Away likes to compete um, in here, so. It'll be interesting. I'm sure they will be both very close in odds, but there's also core belief in there, a little bit more lightly raced from California, who finished third in the Santa Anita Derby behind uh, a horse named Justify and Baldoro, and then ran second in the Peter Pan. Um, so some good horses in there, a lot of speed uh, in the race. Um I think it sets up for a uh, lone sailor to come running. Okay. Matt's going lone sailor and I, and I am going as far as to say, I, I pretty much guarantee he'll be the favorite off of his triple crown experience with, uh, Irad Ortiz coming in to ride him. So I'm going to pick the second choice. Who's the favorite on the morning line. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm never afraid of being wrong, Matt, but I, I just see lone sailor as the definite favorite in here. Flame away. You don't have to tell me flame away is a, just a, we've been talking about him all year. Just a nice horse. He's won many stakes, all different kinds of races. And I don't think he needs the lead. So I think he can uh, stalk and pounce. He's a winner. Lone Sailor still has to prove that he can win a big race like this. And certainly I, Lone Sailor is the one to, to fear the most. You mentioned Core Beliefs. Blended Citizen didn't run a good Dalmont for what it's worth. A horse that ran by him in the Peter Pan. I don't know if that how much that matters because Core Beliefs did run a good Good enough, Peter Pan is certainly a threat, a California horse before that. Uh, Diamond King, yeah, Diamond King did not run a really bad Preakness either, uh, overmatched a little bit. Uh, he's, a, he's a threat for service. Uh, he's won some stakes as well. Title Ready, maybe if Title Ready can, can show me some of the form. Uh, a few races back at Oakland, he's a threat, but another horse who likes to be close to the lead. And Okratis has... has Pretty, I hope I'm saying that name right. Okratis, Okratis, 
coming from Woodbine, has some really nice form at Woodbine, but I don't know if the class and the surface change is going to translate well for him in there. So uh, big names. So I'm not giving you any ads, but I like Flame Away over Lone Sailor. Matt, you're going the, the other way. Yep, I'm going with uh, Lone Sailor and uh, Flame Away. 